Yo, what the heck is, is that? Like a baby alien? All right, guys, a bunch of new Yu-Gi-Oh cards got leaked, so let's go ahead and check them out, see if they're any good. There is a new Six Samurai one, and I think that, uh, let's just go into that one first. I mean, I think that there's more people that want to see that than anything. So the first new Six Samurai is uh, Six Samurai True Shadow. So it's a Dark Warrior, level four, 500 attack, 2,000 defense points. You can only use this card's name effect once per turn. When you normal or special summon eight Shadow Six Samurai, you can just special summon this card from your hand. And then once per turn, you can banish a level four or lower six hundred monster from your graveyard. This card's attribute, level, and attack and defense become the same as that banished monsters until the end of this turn. All right, well, uh, we'll look up in a second. What are all the targets for this to make it like the best uh, like uh, target for this card? That's actually not too bad. Let's go into rank four. It's pretty easy with the deck now. Okay, um, but next up we have Reincarnating Parshat. This is the new counter fairy stuff. Uh, all right, so when a spell trap or monster fairy is activated, you can reveal a counter trap card in your hand. Discard one card, pay a thousand life points, and negate the activation. If you do, return that card to the deck. Then you can special summon a Parshat monster from your deck or extra. What the? Whoa, dude! I went so far back. That's insane. You can summon. A you, you can destroy any Parshat monster, which let lets you add the other counter trap. Oh, wow, dude! This card is insane <laughs> from your deck or extra deck. Dude, this card is gonna be straight up broken. Um, like, obviously, like, what helps the deck out really, uh, well now is because, like, before with the Battle for Artemis, you would, like, an Encounter Trap, uh, card deck, you want to set everything, but now you can just reveal one and then discard one, obviously. I don't know if it can be the same card, though. Um, paying the thousand line points, that's not that bad, but, like, getting just out any partial from the deck or extra deck. What the heck? I, dude, that means they're getting, like, Link Monster? Dude, this card, again, guys, this card could be insane. I feel like this makes the deck like insanely powerful wow okay so next up we got sanctuary of parshath so this is a continual spell card this card's name is treated as sanctuary in the sky while it is on the field of graveyard finally okay we don't have to run the old school sanctuary sky that makes it so much better all right oh in the graveyard too that's interesting anyways very monsters gain 300 attack and defense also face down spell trap card cannot be destroyed or targeted by <gasps> what do counter fairies are broken dude that means what the heck, dude? That just means that you, your opponent can't stop, like, for the most part, most of the time before your opponent goes for a play, they're going to hit your stuff. And it counts as Sanctuary of the Sky, and it gives you the boost is small. But, dude, that's insane. The once per you target three cards with different names in your graveyard that are counter fairy trap, um, place them on the top of your deck in any order. Okay. That effect's like, it's still good, but the fact that your opponent cannot stop. Like, the one problem that the deck originally had uh, before when you would guarantee search out the card, and if you already had other face downs, they would know exactly what the heck the other card was because you would search for it. But now, it, like, it, it doesn't really matter. Like, your opponent. A face down a spell trap cannot be destroyed or targeted. No balancing. This is insane. Dude, counter counter phrase are looking to be like pretty broken. Especially with this card, dude. Just special on Parsha. Yeah. Just special on like some new synchro. Um wait, hold on. We'll go into okay, there's so many hold on. I'm gonna forget. Let me go into it right now. Okay, so let me go ahead and clear this deck. Um so we've got Parsha. Uh, um, so you can just special summon the synchro one? <laughs> like, that isn't, well, okay, what does it do again? You try to face a monster and you change battle position and inflict spell damage to be piercing. Okay, this card's not so good, but the other card that lets you just grab out a, a counter, a trap card, uh, that's insane. Uh, wait, hold on, it, for some reason it's not going, hold on, maybe I have to maximize it to get the full, I don't know why it's broken, okay. Anyways, maybe because it was minimized. But anyways, uh, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can just add a par shaft card or a counter trap card. So. That straight up lets you add this, which then this negates like anything, and then you just summon another one? And wait, hold on, is this like a once per turn? No, it's not a- oh god, gosh, dude. Okay, tell me guys that this card is not insane. <laughs> alright, alright, well, did we get more stuff? Oh, it's a fairy. I, th I thought we were getting aliens. What the heck is- it don't- it looked like a Digimon. Alright, anyways, so at EB, I guess his name- it's probably gonna be changed with TCG, but not that you cared about the name anyways. But anyways- Low, uh, level one light fairy one for one target. All right, so 500 attack, 200 defense points. You can only use this card's names effect once per turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish up to two light fairy monsters from the graveyard, except for this card. For each monster banished, what add one level two or lower light fairy monster from your deck to your hand? Okay, well, what are the good targets with this? Um, okay, we'll get into that in a second. Huh? The added cards must have different names, huh? One level two or lower. Huh? Okay, I, I don't know. Like I said, we'll, we'll go into the target. Oh, I need to go to the six Samurai target first. Oh, hold on. You know what? I'm going to do this real quick right now because if I don't, I'm going to forget what we were talking about before. So as far as like six Samurais, uh, 
Like, what is the greatest six samurai like for attack? And it, I believe it counted as its attribute, right? Hold on, let's, let's go to that. Um, so you can advantage it becomes the uh, attack and defense and attribute. I don't know if there's any like really great targets in terms of like stat wise that like we would really love to be able to copy with the effect of that new six samurai card, the uh, true shadow. I think it's just a rank four utility, but that's the way I see it. And it is also dark, so that helps out with the elements to use that one six samurai card that more likely no one's gonna be playing, but I'm, I know it'll be hype for a video, so we, we'll pull it off in a video. But um, uh, going back to the EB card, let's check out what other great targets are actually uh, going to be viable for this because it's just Banish 2. And then you'd add uh, one level 2, uh, or let's go to, um, uh, it's just Fairy. So uh, we're going to go to Monster and then we're going to Effect because more than likely we're going to want Effect ones. Uh, and then we'll go into uh, the, it did it say, it did it have to be a Light and Fairy? It has to be a level 2 or lower light and fairy okay so it has to be light plus fairy all right oops let's go to uh light and then fairy and let's check out what the uh monsters can be so let's go to search oh what is it oh i, I went for rank okay so i mean you could add the trick stars wait is it has to be sent to the graveyard i don't think you would want to play it in that deck per se i was just thinking like you could use it in maybe uh, trick stars and you can go for some of the cards um and lets you add the heralds um and also lets you let it add was well, a star grails um but I, I just i don't think that there's i mean i, I don't know if the like, agents will be too popping but um as far as the other cards go for the other fairy arc maybe they're going to release another card that will definitely support it but i don't see a good card at the moment um that would be really uh good i mean you can use guiding light to bring back the card i remember this card was actually side decked against black wings at one point but um for the most part i just don't think it's that strong i mean maybe you go for some of the karibo cards or booting but I, I really don't think that there's that many targets for eb as of right now but maybe we'll get into that card later on but anyways Next up, Magical Burst Continuous Track card. You can only use this card's name uh, second effect once per turn. Uh, first effect is each time an opponent's monster effect is activated, place a spell counter on this card uh, when that effect resolves. You can send this card with six or more counters to the grave to add one spell card from your deck to your hand. Okay, uh, I mean, so many decks, they just effect, 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 effect. Definitely wouldn't be a bad card, but six, that's a lot, and it has to survive. If it was able to send it during either player's turn, I could see it being much better. But even then, it's probably not going to be used. That's the way I see it, but you guys can let me know how you feel about that. Because um, it can only use a second effect. You have to send this card to the graveyard, too. If it was just like you remove the counters, you put it on... I don't know. What is that card, by the way? Does anyone know the artwork on the card? It looks cool. Uh, but next up, we have Parallel Port uh, Armor. So it's a normal track quest. It's targeted Link Monster you Control. Equip it with this card. It can't be targeted for uh, by your opponent's card effects. Also, it can't be destroyed by battle. Uh, you can banish this card and two Link Monsters from your graveyard and target one Link Monster you Control. That monster can attack twice during each battle phase of this turn. Uh, I think it's mediocre. I'm not sure if any deck is going to make use of it. But next up, we have Magical Boost which is a quick play spell card, and uh, it says you can only activate one of this card's name per turn, and it says send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard, then target one face-up card in the field that you can place a spell counter on, place two spell counters on the card. Oh, okay. That other card becomes much better. All right. Uh, if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can spell some one monster from your deck uh, that you can place a spell counter on. If you do, place two spell counters on it. Oh. Yo, we, we do break break the magical war in 2017. If you guys didn't know, uh, like the, the card that actually saw the most play, I think, and it was actually oh, it's not actually a, a, a fairy. Uh, whoops, not. Let me move this down. Um, breaker the magical this is one of the most popular like cards it, it was actually hit at one point i think it was at level one uh you, you can only pull one. this card was like so meta this guy was this guy was straight fire however one problem with it is you can only place one counter on him but uh, that is pretty cool that they're bringing spell counters back in a sense uh I, I, and with all the the, the um the uh the, most of the draw power for like the counter stuff is with um um, the um, uh, spell books, but uh, I was saying most of them are actually um, spell casters, so that can kind of work out. I don't know how viable this card is because, uh, as far as this card's effect goes, uh, I mean, you do have to wait for it. You can't just, I mean, if it was a continuous, um, like a, a, a spell card, I think it'd be a little bit better, but who knows how good the, this quick play stuff will be or the, the whole spell counter mechanic uh, in the future. But next up, we have Fire Prison, so a uh, dragon monster is on the field getting 300 defense. Nah, kind of irrelevant, I'd say. Uh, neither player can attempt to link someone to a monster that has less link arrows than the total of the link monsters already on the field. Also, only link monsters can attack. Whoa. 
Only Link monsters can attack. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Uh, if there are two or more Cybers Link monsters on the field, apply the following effects. When the Cybers monsters effect uh, uh, resolves, negate that effect. Hmm. Cybers monsters on the field cannot attack or be targeted for attacks or effects. Whoa. Cyber's looking a little bit better now. I don't know. And it already stopped. It has like some kind of a lockout uh, mechanic. Um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see uh, if uh, people actually can really make good use of it. Oh, we have another. What the heck is Three Burst Dragon? What the heck is it? It looks like it's got like three uh, gun holes, but they're getting chained to like a popsicle in the TCG. You guys know how they are with the, the censoring of cards. But anyways, Three Burst Dragon, Dark uh, Dragon, uh, 2400 attack, a, a link of three, and it is up, left, and down, and it's two non-token monsters. Once per turn, when a spell trap or effect is activated uh, uh, during the damage step, you just negate the activation. Uh, however, it does not destroy the card, and that's something kind of important. But uh, anyways, next up, uh, if this card attacks a defense position monster, you flip piercing. Uh, during your main phase, except for the turn this card was special summon, you can tribute this card, then target one link, two or lower link monster and graveyard, special summon it. Then you can special summon one level four or lower dragon monster from your hand. Eh, that's not bad. Okay. Uh, not too bad of a card. Uh, I'm sure someone will figure out some crazy combos with it, but next up we have Xcode Talker. So it's a win a Cybers 2300 attack. Its links are up, left, and right, and it requires two Cybers type effect monsters. However, uh, there is a card that can change something to Cybers, so it's not uh, actually specifically for it. And what's interesting with this artwork, I already noticed, that's actually Caius, uh, the Shadow Monarch. That's his little like orb, I think. But uh, anyways, uh, anyways, the first effect can only be used uh, once per turn in this card's name. But anyways, uh, when the card is linked to someone, you can choose a number of unused main monster zones equal to the number of monsters in the main monster zone. Those main monster zones cannot be used while this remain monster remains face up. A uh, monster that this card points to gain 500 attack, also they can't be destroyed by card effects. Uh, I was really hoping it was like a Kaios effect. I mean, they had the Goddess Orb, isn't that? That's, that's gotta be Kaios, the Shadow Monarch. Hold on. I know it, it's been a while since um, I've seen this guy. I, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, if I could spell, Kaios. Kaios, the Shadow Monarch. Um, it's a very similar orb. It's, it's a different shade of purple. It's very similar. Maybe they just took the artwork uh, and just altered it a little bit, but it's very similar. It's just that orb. Anyways, oh, we got Mythical Beast Master Cerberus. Um, oh, that might be the card on the artwork previously. But anyways, uh, New Light Spellcaster Pendulum, uh, level 8 up with a scale of 4, 2800, 2800. Pendulum effect says you can only use this card's name's pendulum effect once per turn. If you don't control a card in your other pendulum, you can destroy this card. And if you do, add one Mythical Beast effect monster from your deck to your hand. And its monster effect is each time a spell card is activated, place two spell counters on this card when that spell counter resolves. If there are four or more spell counters on the field, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Once per turn, you can remove four spell counters from your field, then target one monster opponent controls, banish it. And if you do this, card gains attack equal to the original attack of the banished monster until the end of this turn. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, maybe maybe they'll bring some other pendulums back. Um, anyways, another Mythical Beast Jackal card. So a Pendulum 1, uh, skill of 4, 0, attack, 1400 defense. Pendulum effect says you can only use this card as a Pendulum effect once per turn. So um, if you don't control another card in your Pendulum zone, you can target one face-up card you control it, that you can place a spell counter on it. Destroy this card, and if you do, place one spell counter on the card. Monster effect says uh, each time a spell counter is activated, a spell card is activated, place one spell counter uh, on this card when it resolves. Uh, you can move three spell counters from your field, then tribute this card to special one Mythical Beast effect monster from your deck, except for Mythical Beast Jackal. Now, as far as the Mythical Beast, there's actually one really good one. Um, let me do this for you guys. Mythical Beast, um, uh, hold on. Uh, oh, is Circuit not on that one? I thought Mythical Beast, Cir oh, Circuit? Is, is that? Oh, it's mystical, not mythical. Ah, oh, dang, that was actually one of the good cards. Uh, but anyways, mythical beast. Um, there is a, a build with, is it birth format? It, it's, um, okay, that's the one that adds. Um, if you treat someone, uh, destroys you can flick 500 with a card destroyed, you just inflict 2,000 damage from, okay. I don't know if they're gonna, oh, they're gonna add more mythical beasts because I, 
Is it this one? I know that there was some mythical beast like OTK or after Gazelle. Was it with Gazelle? It was some obscure, really, really obscure combo. I thought it was Burfamet, uh that you were able. To, it's like some type of a loop. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, I probably even made the video, but I totally forgot what I titled the video. But anyways, yeah, there is some type of combo with the mystical. I remember that there's a loop with this card. But anyways, um, it, it has to do with another card, but it involves this card, I believe. But uh, I don't know what other um, cards. I mean, obviously, there's there's new cards for it. Maybe that's what it's going to support. But anyways, we have, what the heck? Is that dragon made out of bullets? <laughs> it's called Belt Link Wall Dragon. Dude, that's Trump's favorite card. It's got wall on it. All right, let's check it out, though. Anyways, so it's a Earth Dragon level 6, uh, 0 attack, 21 defense. Could not be normal summoner set. Must be special summoner by this card's effect. When you link summon a monster or monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. If you do, place two counters on this card. Neither player can link summon a link monster whose link rating is higher than the number of counters on this card. Also, only link monsters can attack. Dude, what is up with this, like, only link monsters can attack? There's another card uh, that has that, like, was it, it reminds me of what was it? Thousand Eyes Restrict, classic old card. Um, anyways, if a link monster is summoned, remove two counters from this card. Once per turn, in face, place one counter on this card. Okay, um, I don't know if that mechanic is, I feel like, again, spell counters, like, with the exception of, like, maybe, like, with FDKs, a lot of times they just don't work out. Like, most of the spell counter decks are, like, FDK or they don't see play. But anyways, uh, Bit Trooper, or Bit Looper. Uh, anyways, a uh, Cybers Earth level 4, 15 attack, 2,000 defense points. You can only use this card's name effect once per turn. You can, uh, for, uh, effect says you can send one level 2 or lower monster from your hand to the graveyard to special summon this card from your hand. Oh, okay. Well, that's there's potentially like extra links. Well, that was a lot of cards, guys. I, I, was, really, uh, I was really thinking we would get alien support by this artwork, but dude, the new counter fairy stuff is straight fire, dude. I still can't believe you can use this card. There's no like once per turn. You can use this to use another one and you can get out the double Parshath, which if you attack, you're gonna get both of those. And on top of that, this counts as Sanctuary in the Sky. You have no, if, if anyone played the deck, you'll know what I'm talking about. But Sanctuary uh, in the Sky is not like a good card. However, there is one potential problem with this though. You can't, was it Hecatrice? There's, there's a card, uh, or is it, uh, there's a card that searches out Sanctuary in the Sky. Um, uh, Herald of, okay, I'll, 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 I'll just type in so. Um, Sanctuary in the Sky, uh, Zoradius, Herald of Heaven, that's his name. Anyways, so you're able to discard this card to add Sanctuary in the Sky from your deck to your hand. Now this only counts as Sanctuary in the Sky while it's on the field or graveyard. If it counted in the deck, oh, this would be so much better. But the fact that your opponent cannot stop your counter traps, or is the second effect, that is insane. That like makes the deck so much better because your counter traps have to go off. And like, sometimes you just lose to like a Twin Twister, you don't got that Dark Bride or something like that. You just straight lose, but like, I still can't believe you could just special summon any Parshath from the deck or extra deck. Does that mean we're It has to mean we're going to get better ones. There's no way that they would just be like, oh, you got to use the old Parshath because the old Parshath is, is, is like is outdated. No one played this card, guys. Um, but that means we're, we're going to probably get a Link monster. My guess is a Link monster, and it's probably going to have some crazy extra broken effect to support the archetype. But overall, guys, let me know your thoughts on this. Overall, my thoughts, uh, six Samurai card and mediocre. Uh, the couch broken, man. That they get no once per turn, dude. And especially since you can just re-add the cards. Uh, this has, like, so many effects, but it's not searchable off of the discard of Zoradius. But, again, it helps the deck so much, because Sunshine in the Sky is not that good, uh, like, on its own. It, like, it's like fairies can't, uh, you take no battle damage when you involving fairies or something like that. Um, I don't know what other cards, we're definitely gonna be getting more uh, extra cards uh, with this uh, EB, because there's no way, like, the, what, what what level one or two light fairies do we play right now? Like, it's like none. Uh, so we're probably gonna get some extra support. Guys, the fairy stuff is looking really good, and I believe it's in a structure slash starter deck, so I think this might be the next really good budget deck, especially if they hit dinosaur, yang zings, or whatever they decide to hit on the ban list. Fairies are looking really strong, guys, but let me know your thoughts down below. If any of you guys know any cool combos with the card, let me know, and I'll get you guys some footage of that really soon. But hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the new cards. Let me know what you're most excited about. Maybe fairies, hands down. I also really like the artwork of this, like that that uh, wall dragon to build the wall. That's a cool artwork. It, it, that's awesome. It reminds me of like the uh, Shinron from uh, Dragon Ball Z. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the vid. If you did, drop a like on it. And also, important thing, let me know if you guys like this format where I go over all the cards and like other things via like opening it up. So this way, it like adds a little bit more discussion and it helps some of you guys out. Uh, maybe that you didn't know about some of these other cards uh, previously. But uh, Anyways, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for daily new Yu-Gi-Oh! videos and fidget spinners.